Yeah, choose your way. Let's get it, little babe. My niggas dying for two years. Still fighting charge. Judge won't all. Fuck you, I'm fighting charge. Gotta get every dollar, my nigga. I'm fighting charge. Seven on the murder, my niggas, they beating charge. My niggas dying for two years. Still fighting charge. Pending cases troubling my mind frame Got jammed with that ratchet on Sam Rankin By Henry Stowe, now they judging my life, man But fuck a Dennis Graham Jack, bitch Who the fuck you think you is? I'm thuggy till I suck, come to my wounds, bitch Thug living is how it is In the ghetto, we go for what we know In a concrete hill Sean Boston wants a nigga in me But I want that nigga out this city Cause there ain't no place for the real nigga I want all my niggas off lock I'm getting money, my nigga Fuck that 30 foot wall, but I still gotta keep my Glock Motherfuckers trying to take me out But fuck a day of execution a nigga like me stick the metal finger to the jug It's just new revolution My mind was full of that pollution Them terms had a nigga mind gone But with the same mind, nigga I beat the case, I'm staying up on my throne Nigga, I did that time alone Niggas quit calling laws on the phone And all these fuck niggas think they solid But telling on they own homies Fuck the judge, fuck the DA Nigga, fuck all of them hoes I'd rather bend a few corners Nigga, sipping and tipping My phones. niggas dying for two years Still fighting charge Judge won't all Fuck you, I'm fighting charge Gotta get every dollar, my nigga, I'm fighting charge Seven on the murder, my niggas, they beating charge My niggas die for two years, still fighting charge Judge won't order, fuck you, I'm fighting charge Gotta get every dollar, my nigga, I'm fighting charge Seven on the murder, my niggas, they beating charge My niggas fighting charges like we playing San Diego Straight drop product for that payload Lawyers got judges on the payroll Don't pay the beef Show some more, some more respect to the underground artists out there. And when I say we, we got my boy Major in the building. What it is, Major? What's good with it? Already, and you know we gonna be vibing. You know we talking about something, man. Right, right before we actually came on the mic, you know what I said we was talking about. Uh, actually, we was actually talking about this. Uh, these dabs and stuff. You know, <laughs> so I was showing my boy. Uh, uh, if you actually, if you're on Instagram. I'm gonna vouch for this dude here, or you well industry. Look him up, man. Because if you actually dab, you know what I'm saying? You you know about your waxes, you know about your shadows, you know about your uh, all your different types, you know what I'm saying? Then go ahead and check him out. All the true see. herbal essence people you. know what we talking about. Exactly. Yeah, if you ain't putting none in the air, then I don't know what you're doing with yourself. You feel me? Hmm. <laughs> yeah. So much that we gotta find this back up. But now, nah, but what we were really talking about before that was this, this, this. Horrible travesty that they're trying to make uh, Colin Kaepernick out to be, you know. Let's stay on that subject because I think we need to support our, 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 our homeboy, you know. So, But, uh, it, Major, that was something that, you know, I think needed to be brought up because some Nike took the point to use uh, Kaepernick to, to, to inspire people who right. were inspired by his story. 
Exactly. So, what I don't get is why are we vilifying an, a story of inspiration? Is it because you, they say that it was disrespectful to the military. What were you, what were you telling me about uh, about the military earlier? That some military people actually say that it's not disrespectful towards them in no form or fashion. And it also doesn't state nowhere in no constitution, nowhere in no laws that you have to stand up for the Pledge of Allegiance or for any kind of national thing. It's nowhere. I mean, ain't right. that why they went to war in the first place and all of that for freedom of speech and, you know, your own... Be your own person. You're supposed to have freedom of will. Right. If I'm not mistaken. So... Where does your freedom will come if you can if you feel like you don't want to do something? Exactly. You know, and then we got the the, the the Trump Trump man in the office and stuff talking about when they don't want to, they want to disrespect the flag or whatever. Then you need to get them off the field, fire the masses and stuff. Now you said that people should be you should retaliate to to a peaceful protest, and that sounds like it, that's why I don't understand how he called out uh, Maxine Waters when she was telling people we need to confront these people in public and, and, and get them you know, if we confront them in public you're going to mm. hold them accountable for the actions that they've taken exactly you know if you really want somebody who who needs to be uh, uh, held accountable you need to be holding people that's in political office held accountable because yes he's just an NFL player he mm. but his, he was also somebody that a uh, lot of Young minorities looked up to exactly, and, and that's, that's what that all boils down exactly. to. Exactly, you know, a positive role model. This dude ain't never been in no trouble. He came from money, so he really didn't need to exactly. be no football player. You know, so yeah, people, a lot of people need to get that off so straight. So he didn't care about the money. You know, and he's mixed mm-hmm. on top of that. But he was just doing what a lot of people went do. A lot of people were scared to do. I mean, you got rappers who could have been to Christine. Huh. But they didn't take a stand. Because, I mean, don't everybody look up to the rappers nowadays? That's I mean, right. come on. They I mean, didn't want to take a stand. But a football player decided to take a stand. And it was like a big, big deal. What if... If it was a regular somebody like me that would have did that, it wouldn't even matter to nothing. Right. You know what I'm saying? Now, in the rapper's defense, it is kind of fucking hard to kneel when your skinny jeans are sagging around your knees. Yeah, because you know? your bowels can't breathe. Right, you know what I'm saying? So it's kind of hard. To, you know, so I, that, that's just to be in their defense. Yeah. You know? But at the same time, <laughs> a lot of them tra- talk about drugs, guns, right. and shit. You can talk about taking a stand, right. too. No, you damn sure There's right. In so many ways, you know. You damn sure right. But see, you know, some rappers do. Yeah, Kendrick, some do. Kendrick Lamar, J. Cole, yeah. Yeah, and, and even Eminem. Now, yeah. here's the kicker. Eminem, being in a position where he has some influence, he decided to use his voice against... Uh, no, the same thing we're saying. Mm-hmm. But why are some of our people actually getting mad at him for that? They they, they say because he's white, he can't really speak on our show. They must not know. Eminem been had a nigga pass since way back in the day. Exactly. Ain't nobody... But who really... Who, but ain't none of them going to go and step up to him and say nothing to that, him about him. That, that's right. You know It's always going to be social media. And he took a stand because he felt like, yeah, I wouldn't take a stand if you ask me. Real talk. He just as black as agile or in my eyes. Like, you know he what I'm saying? Just as black ball. You know, true, he true. Now, I will give y'all this. That his... With his skin complexion should be in the color that it is. He is in position and he is in a, a place of where he can maneuver in certain... You know, yeah. circles that we can't. So he, why not be able to utilize that? Field. Yeah, he, why not utilize that? You know, he ain't playing double agent. He no. just ended up trying to make some lit- some litigation happen so that some shit can actually be helped for, uh, for us. Exactly. He like a, that's like the true peacemaker right there, you know. Exactly. He, he believe he have rank. He, he can get in... Like you say, he can get in places other people can't get into. Exactly. You know what I'm saying? A lot of pe- places that where a lot of black successful people can't get to, he can get to with them in the white areas. Exactly. You know what I'm saying? And then he can maneuver his way to the black areas. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? But I mean, he don't... came out of retirement. Exactly. You know, just to end, I know this is our subject, you know, but he came basically out of retirement and ended a career, you know, like... <laughs> 
<laughs> I mean, yeah, come that, on. That, that last, uh, and, and he, not, he ended the career, but he also boosted somebody's career. Yes. MGK now is a, not, is a lot more famous now than he was back in the day. And that's not because he bodied him and them. He did not. He did a no. good job on that disc. Don't yeah, I ain't going to lie. I gave him his point on that disc, but exactly. I just was like, bro, you Richard, need to go on and tell right. your mama. Get your get your friend or the <laughs> I don't know no rapper who didn't win against M and live live that all. Still is we still waiting on that uh, <laughs> that challenge, man. We still waiting on that challenge. I mean, <laughs> straight up though, like come on now. But you can't get mad if somebody if somebody else is taking a stand and you won't take the right. stand though. That that's exactly what Captain did. Yeah. If you see him take a stand and you feel like something is done, you feel like it's right and right for a cause, fall in line and take that stand with him. You know what I'm saying? Like, it's simple as that. Like, when everybody united, I mean, it's an unstoppable force, but y'all, when we stay divided, it's easy for them to conquer over us. You know, that's how they want to keep us divided, you know? Exactly. And you know they already up to no good. So as long as we stay divided, we ain't never gonna be able to, you know, fight that. But with exactly. That, but with that being said, you know them being up to no good. We got some new music for you from your boy Trap Nificent T Lo, the Trap Nificent. No good. You listen to BOSS Radio. This new music Monday. When we come back. We gonna chop it up a little bit more, baby. You heard me? To start with, I don't mind a better view. Curious to see what that neck can do. Pardon me if there's someone in next to you. Jealousy is a trait I never knew. Shit, all I want you to be is a better you. Let's make these next few moments memorable. You think of my claim, your schedule. While I'm thinking everything edible, my apologies, I don't mean to mess with you. I knock you off your little pedestal. I get it sometimes, I act less improved. Attachments, I'm really not stressing, dude. Seem like you neither, I see you still sending news. Patience, then with every breath I lose. Hey, pretending I ain't into you. And don't know, begin and start out with a point to prove. I have a desire to toy with you. Are you two up there to peek from my point of view? Just relax and enjoy what I do for you. How's being wrong? And so beautiful, I agree. No, this isn't my usual, and that good girl role ain't really suiting you. I don't mean to act like I ain't removable. All that you do for me, just know it's mutual. Hold up, please correct me if I'm wrong. If I'm wrong. All my life I ran on vibes. I know you feel the same way. And if I'm coming up too strong, too strong, I'm aware that there's a price to pay. I know that girl ain't no good, but she too bad. Any other time I know I could But I ain't tryna smash On second thought that bitch too bad She too bad She too bad, she too bad She too bad, she too bad She too bad, she too bad How do I feel about it? I feel great about it That girl ain't no good She ain't no good that girl ain't no good She ain't no good But she too bad Didn't think we would meet again Hey, how you doing this evening? Kinda nervous, got me rolling my sleeves and shit Yeah, I know you having trouble believing it But yeah, here we are with the creeping shit Plotting and studying each other's weaknesses You think of my clan, you weaken it To be honest, just think about eating it Low, have a feast with it, then where do I begin? Got a gas for air, she need oxygen Legs in the air, hold on, wait, I need time again I'm trying to bring tears without violence Girl, let go of your fears and build monuments We don't have much room for no novices I know that looking at my only option is To realize what's real, now what time it is Hold up Please correct me if I'm wrong. If I'm wrong. All my life I ran on vibes. I know you feel the same way. And if I'm coming up too strong, too strong. I'm aware that there's a price to pay. I know that girl ain't no good. She ain't no good. But she too bad. She too bad. Any other time I know I could. I know I could. But I ain't tryna smash. I'm not On second trying to thought smash, that bitch too bad. bad. She too bad. She too bad, 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 she too bad. This bitch is too bad. That girl ain't no good. Oh no, she ain't no good. That girl ain't no good. Oh no, she ain't no good. But she too bad.
right now, chopping it up. I want to bring y'all attention to a little. We're we gonna bring y'all more details uh, real soon, but uh, everybody know uh, Connie from my EXO Radio. We work uh, very close together, and we actually got some plan for uh, 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 that. We really do need to bring to awareness. Um, and I'm actually gonna read something she sent me. This is something that she researched and found that every 98 seconds, an American is sexually assaulted, and every eight minutes, that victim is a child. Meanwhile, only six out of every 1,000 perpetrators will end up in prison. Researching this is the latest update. This is the latest update. Meaning that only six out of 1,000 perpetrators that touches on a child. Them low numbers. Right. Very low numbers. I wonder why that's so low. When we have so many people that's locked up for a marijuana charges when it's now legal. Plus speeding tickets. Plus speeding tickets. You know, you would think that we want to protect our children. You know, protect people from being sexually assaulted, you know. Exactly. And, but, you, you know, one thing I, I want to say about that is the only time you actually ever hear about these cases is whenever it's somebody who's a prominent figure, a public figure. A victim or something. Somebody that, that holds a higher ranking. Right. You know, like how they do it with the, 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 the new Supreme Court mm-hmm. uh, appointee uh, cabinet. You know, it's Kavanaugh. You know what I'm saying? They're they saying that he got an uh, accusation. Now, it's I, I don't know the dynamics of it. I mean... It's, he it, did. You know. <laughs> <laughs> and he's going to get away with it because now he's now a Supreme Court judge. Which is true. And that's how and that's how the system actually works. Exactly. And uh, that's why they're trying to push it through because you know they're going to be... And the only time somebody with a high rank really get thrown in jail is when they don't have no use for that person exactly. no more. Exactly. Yeah. You see, they let Clinton finish out his time. Yeah. <laughs> oh, he's gonna help us, so we gonna let him. You gonna leave him we gonna let him see finish yeah. out his time. Like, we're gonna we, bad, Mr. President. Bad. Gave him the <laughs> team, told him, hey, but when those clothes, they dabbed him up. Right, though, you exactly. know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. You hey. stay, you good, you good. But if you just uh, like you, if you was just any other old judge or something like that. You would have been all exposed on TV, exactly. banned, stripping exactly. everything. You know, that's what I'm saying. It's yeah. Another judge that actually got got away with is Judge Roy Moore out of Alabama. You know, he had uh, during the election. You know, I say he was accused uh, by a couple of girls uh, mm-hmm. back in the seventies. They was teenagers, and he was yep. a, a man of, of of important figure. You know, it's an important figure in the community. You know, I say he used that power to intimidate these females. He gave TV back and, so much to the community right. and all of this. Gave back so much that he had to give <coughs> some of his dick too. Like, mm, exactly. <laughs> and you know, and I wonder what ever happened to that case because ever since that he lost his uh he lost that election that has not been in any except for when they allude to it during other like with Kavanaugh. Mm. They bring it up. Mm-hmm. Like, well, okay, so what's happening with it since you're bringing it up? What happened with that? They got thrown out. <laughs> yeah. He, he really just got, man, got a right. good payoff. Right. That's and what basically happened because I don't, I never heard of him doing no jail time. None. None. He probably won't. You know, I mean, wrote got, the girl's family and them a check. You right, know, it's that, payoff, yeah. you know. They probably wrote them a check in the beginning. Mm-hmm. <laughs> it says exactly. Shit. That was wrote before they even fucking came out. You know, they was wrote a check to say the shit. Now they was wrote a check not to say the shit. Man. <laughs> you know That's what I'm saying? a mean hustle. I'm going to find me a politician. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, I find I go after them cougars. Right, for real. <laughs> oh, get me one corner, shit. Mm. Nah, man, but for real though, like this, that's amazing that we can we see how many people get away with that, and it's like I, I'm sorry, I, and that's that's why people stay strapped because they have children, and now you want to take away the gun, the gun law, uh, but y'all gave us the gun law to protect us, right? So. That's part of the Constitution, something you cannot change. You sure they can get get no text? Nobody in Texas yeah. give up their gun. Yeah. Texas will be the next new country. I'm trying to fuck <laughs> that. Come to our border if you want to. Y'all yeah, thought I moved here for no reason? Uh, <laughs> Shit, I'm ready. I'm trying to tell you, man. But all yeah. day, and that just goes to show you too. Well, where there was com- those communities where they actually have to have a sign. I think they. I want to look that up because I believe that they uh, that perpetrators when they get out or they do get caught or anything like that, they, they have to put up a sign. They have in to go around, yard, yeah, and everything, and then go around and, not, and in, when they move into a new neighborhood, they got to introduce themselves to their neighbors. You know what I'm but saying? But not a lot of them do that. I and see that. 
And a lot of them don't keep up, and a lot of and the system don't keep up with them. So basically, you have a predator just really free roaming, free roaming, doing whatever. And you then know. if you want to have an alert on your phone to know about this, you gotta pay for the bullshit. You gotta pay for the alert. Yes, like wow. you know, you have to pay. It's like uh, I think it's like first nine dollars in there from a for a premium free for like the whole year. Like a hundred dollars. It's a subscription. Yes, just to know when you have predators Predator. around you. Your children. Now, see, this is what I'm talking about. Like, it's this has been something that has actually been going on for centuries. But why should we have to pay for this? We shit? shouldn't have to pay for security like that. You you telling us we need to give up our privacy for security? You know what I'm saying? Then why do we have to pay for it at the same time? In that case, then I keep my privacy and my money over here because with my privacy, you don't know what kind of security I have. Thank you. And you can come in here if you want to. I have rental rights. Right. right. <laughs> For those people who don't know what rental rights is, that means anything that belongs to you and you are in their possession, if you are feel threatened or somebody threatening you or your family, whether you in your house, your car, mobile, vehicle, bike, any kind of thing, and it belongs to you, you have the right to defend yourself. See, now that's, that sounds... Let's see. I'm glad you said that because uh, we're gonna. Oh, we're gonna have to change something. I want y'all to be aware that we are gonna be dropping details about uh, the event that we're gonna be going with Connie uh, about the sexual predators and what we should be able to do to, you know, bring awareness to us. But I'm glad he brought that up because, with that being said, that's Texas's version of stand your round. It is, and actually, I can't think of what case it was, but it actually happened back. In the year 2000, where it actually took place when a teenager broke into a dude's house, a white dude, in his apartment, and he wound up killing the teenager right. while he was coming through the window. The case went nationwide, and dude fought and fought, and at the end of the day, the dude won his case because they said he had the right to protect his apartment, Right, and that's how they came up with the rental rights for us. That's what's up. <laughs> yeah, and I just looked it up. You're right. Yeah, and it was uh, published. Yeah, like in two, uh, 99 or 2000. Yeah, and she I was got, a kid, and I remember right. this. The, yeah. It was a black. It was, and it was a color. It was because it was color. It was a color thing on top of that. He climbed through the front window, right. like the basically apartment, and the dude. I don't know if the dude. I can't remember. The dude gave him a warning or not, but he shot him. While he was halfway through the window. Should have been climbing through his back damn window. You I bet your other half was happy you didn't make it, huh? <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, but you know, like I and, and he won the case. And ever since then they had the rental rights. I can't believe that that's even is a case though. That was they that's funny that that it is had to be because of his color. They mm-hmm. really wanted to lock him up and they could yep. get But see, a lot of people wouldn't, wouldn't actually know about that and a lot of people, that's what I'm saying, it's always, it's, right. it's just good. Knowledge is power. Right. That's why right. I, that's why I definitely on Revolutionary Hour I try to get stuff out like that. Like, mm-hmm. because that. That's called the case law right there. Mm-hmm. Since he won his case, now that case could be used in any oh, other argument. Like yes, that. it, it has been used yeah. in lots of arguments. Exactly. Like, <laughs> so now that's constitutional law right there. It can, it can be, that's the only kind of constitutional mm-hmm. law that can be changed. But by them having that fight, it's very rare that that happens because it's... it's it was based on nowadays. It's based on fact. The times you fit, you find cases that are overturned by mm-hmm. stuff like, uh, 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 give me a minute. Not Brown versus Board of Education. It wasn't that one. Damn, damn, damn. I'm drawing a blank. It's, it's pretty much was the uh, case that said that blacks are not United States citizens. You know, I said the dude was uh, he was fighting for his uh, Ferguson, not Ferguson versus Place. That ain't him. But uh, he was fighting for his right to be free. You know, I say uh, somehow, some way, he was supposed to have been freed, and he wasn't free, so he was fighting for his right to be freed. In the findings, it was ruled that uh, African Americans didn't have, weren't considered constitution uh, citizens by the Constitution. But they wrote the Constitution; they was they didn't want to think about African Americans. So right. African Americans really don't have a jurisdiction to sue in court. That's they, why they really treat right now. They said they overturned that with uh, uh, the Thirteenth Amendment. Mm-hmm. You know, I say that says that we all are now free. 
Uh, but there's a lot of speculation on that. There's a lot of rumors that are going around saying there was an original 13th uh, uh, Amendment that said that still said that we still wasn't United States citizens, so on and so forth. But you know, it, it's it's all hearsay. You know, and we still don't know what we all mean in right. that definition. Right. When they wrote it, <laughs> we all wasn't all you included. Our color in there. Right. <laughs> No, Shit. Shit. I mean, I, at least they could have said niggas and whites. You yeah, know what I'm saying? That's how y'all were talking back then. Back in the days, you know, let us know we included. You know, that's all we yeah. asking. And they get mad. Back to the Kaepernick thing. They get mad when we ask to be included in America. Ooh, and that's all that's reality. This is basically our shit. It is. You know, this land broke off of Africa and it carried some of our ancestors over here and. We never really moved off of this land, so it's, no, it's man. It's basically successful because of the minority. Right, it wouldn't be in was it without slavery, which included mostly minorities. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? Uh, yeah, I'm not going to try. I'm not trying to take away from the Irish that was slaves. I'm not trying to take away from the, the Native Americans that was enslaved. I'm not trying to take away from the Japanese that was enslaved. I'm not trying to take away from the Chinese that was enslaved to build the railroads. Thank you, y'all helped build railroads to facilitate more work. For us, mm-hmm. <laughs> hey, shit. So uh, I'm not thanking you. <laughs> I was just saying I feel your pain. Yeah, that's, right. <laughs> that's all I can say. But uh, you know, at the end of the day, you see that without that minorities, that minority, it, it see this which goes back to the democracy. Mm-hmm. They they knew who the minority was back then. They did, and even nowadays, they they try to make it. Vague and smoky and with all kind of mirror, smoky mirrors and shit like mm-hmm. that. But at the end of the day, that we know who the minority is. It's uh, and then if you research <laughs> democracy, you'll find out that the minority has no say so. Exactly. So what the fuck am I doing here? That's how I you know. Like if I ain't got no say so, fuck out of here. Yeah, uh, if I, I don't have no say so, why the fuck do you fuck with me? Right. Let me be. Exactly. But I don't have no say-so. Yeah. But see, that's why you fuck me, because I don't have a say-so. Yeah. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Yeah. It's a fucking catch-22. Yeah. Motherfuckers. <laughs> <laughs> man, but yeah, it's just that mm. these type of laws that they pass, you got to be up to date with them, man. Cause they just don't understand, man. They're going to pass a law and then not enact that law for another 15 years. Mm-hmm. Because if I'm not mistaken... I think it's every September or something of the year they add a new law. No, yeah, no, they let add laws every, all the time. Okay, because okay. Congress, there's certain law. Most laws have to be signed by uh, the president, which is why I don't understand how these laws are getting passed, and he still has time to tweet. No, yeah, I'm saying because this law, a lot of laws getting passed, but most of the time they're just bills. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? But he gets maybe three or four laws that come across his desk a day. I'm not, don't don't quote me on that. I'm not in the White House, so I'm not in that. But mm-hmm. for what I've understood, mm-hmm. what, I was, but what I was taught is that he, got, he, he gets about three or four bills that come across his um, office, his desk a day. And he has to review them and discuss them with his uh, team. And he has set, he has a lot of time that he does that so that he can cover all four, three or four bills. And he signs them if they're laws. Mm. But the only ones that they actually publicize is the ones that actually they want you to see. That's the one. That's what I was talking about. That was it. Yeah. You know, mm-hmm. that, that's yeah. September. I I wouldn't be surprised because that means that something always happens in September. Look at what happened. Nine eleven. Nine eleven. Obviously, I'm not going to close to right when everybody be getting ready to go to the well, election. Exactly. You got constables ready to move up to share right. and everything like that. Right. Midterms. Mm-hmm. Exactly. But yeah. why, my question is why the fuck you got to vote a sheriff in to get to a higher ranking? No, shit? That's the perfect. That's what you want. Sheriff, the reason why you want to vote the sheriff is because you want to control who has the power. But what we've done is, is we've given a certain, a mayor, the mayor of the city, and the city council mm-hmm. a certain amount of power also for law enforcement. But they're not law enforcement because they're not covered by the Constitution. Right. Nor are they guaranteed by the Constitution to enforce the law. So that's where we come up with the police. Mm-hmm. Where the sheriff is constitutional. The sheriff has to push the Constitution. Mm-hmm. That's why if you ever get fucked with by a cop, if the sheriff isn't on the pay on their payroll, you could call the deputy to come and like let's say you get pulled over. While you're pulling over, you can call the local sheriff's office and tell them, hey, it's it's um 
Yeah, yeah somebody flashed me like behind me. It may or may not be a policeman. Mm-hmm. I've heard of stories of people putting lights on their cars, pulling people True. over and robbing them. And True. I'm just wanting to know, can you send a deputy just to make sure everything is okay? True. And that, for the most part, will save your life. True. Now I'm talking about people be having full police outfits. It ain't hard to go get no police right. outfit. No, I'm going to tell you a real story about that happened to me with real police officers. I was in Florida, Clearwater, mm-hmm. Florida. One night, we was also outside drinking, you know, I said, chilling, this is an apartment, private apartment complex, whatever, you know, we all like to with the neighbors and stuff, we just having a good time. Right. The police, they come across with their flashlights, flashing their flashlights, now we have uh, uh, sliding doors, and that's the front of the apartment, so when you flash your flashlight, that, flat, that flashlight goes through, and straight to the house. Mm-hmm. We didn't have curtains back that time, and my children are in the living room sleep, so that flashlight can really can disturb them. Yeah, yeah. So I tell hey, what you doing? What do you, what, what's up? What, what's going on? What you looking for? You know mm-hmm. what I'm saying? Everybody else, they had like, you know, they, it, me and my cousin, we really want, I want two that was actually talking shit to him. But we like, what the fuck you doing? You know, you, we looking for the apartment number, man. First of all, the apartment number is right here. Mm-hmm. You know, second of all, don't you have GPS? <laughs> Did, it sent you over here, right? So what apartment number are you looking for? Because this is obviously is people outside. You could have asked what you're doing mm-hmm. right now is disturbing my home where my children are sleeping right now. You know what I'm saying? So we get into it. Big debate because they see us outside drinking. Now they want to change the subject. Nah, what was you over here for? You know what I'm saying? I'm trying to stick to that. So they started to get rowdy, rowdy, talking about something, we disturbing the peace. And I had to explain to them, no, sir, you're disturbing the peace because I never crossed the sidewalk. And I even spit the Supreme Court case that proves that this side of the sidewalk is not, is my fucking side, is my private area. Mm-hmm. Where you're standing at is public property. Mm-hmm. So who's disturbing the peace? He was quiet And his sergeant composed There's a lot of cops out there now All the neighbors done coming The people that wasn't hanging out Where at the time And people filming this stuff It's on YouTube somewhere I, I've been asking for somebody To send me the link <laughs> I, I hope, Hey if you're listening And, and you in Clearwater Please find out It happened on South Betty Lane North Betty Lane No South Betty Lane I'm sorry South Betty Lane 616 South Betty Lane In Clearwater, Florida It happened around two years ago Police in altercation Around 12, 1 o'clock in the morning Please if you know Where you got that link Send it to me but this is what happened to me, right? So the next night, I'm sitting outside and another cop pulls up. And they come around, forgot how I end up getting into their conversation. But I'm sitting on my steps on the private side of the phone with a beard on the phone. Right. So I get off the phone. When I, I, not because I saw them. I got off the phone and then I saw them. Mm-hmm. So I got my beard. I ain't worried about them. I'm chilling, you know. So he comes up and he asks me for my ID. And I asked for what? Why do I have to show you my ID? You know, mm-hmm. I need to know what the probable cause for you because suspicion is no longer a factor. And this is exactly what I told him. Mm-hmm. So his partner comes up right behind him and he asked me for my ID. His partner comes to ask me for my ID and I was explaining it. And I said, uh, sir, I was just explaining it to your, uh, your, your partner that I don't really have to show my ID until you prove that. And he picked me up right then and then and slammed me onto the ground. Ooh. Yeah, so I'm fucked up. All right here. Mm-hmm. All this is fucked up. Because he ain't slammed me in the grass. He slammed me on the concrete. fucking concrete. Yeah. Yeah, so I'm fucked up. They handcuffed me and everything. Zip tied me. They ain't handcuffed me. They zip tied me. You know, it's like a fucking terrorist. What the fuck? Yeah. <laughs> okay, so whenever they uh they put me in the back of the cop car, my aunt was yelling out, hey, what's going on? What's going on? I'm like, aunt, call the sheriff. As I'm told, call the sheriff. Because I already knew about this by now. Mm-hmm. Call the sheriff from Pinellas County Sheriff is I, I was locked up in their jail. They're nice. <laughs> <laughs> not, but I'm not saying go stay there. You know, I ain't, yeah, I ain't giving up. them a five star rating. I'm just saying they, they're cool. You know, yeah. they can be talked to. They can be reasoned with. So mm-hmm. I told my aunt, call the sheriff. Make sure I get a, a deputy out here. So boom, I'm sitting in the back of the cop car. They said they sitting out there talking and stuff. I guess trying to come up with a story. <laughs> but anyways, I see the deputy pull up. Behind us, you know what I'm saying? But I don't see him, I see lights. Like, not mm-hmm. the flashing lights, but I see car lights and stuff. So I see him walk past me, and this side of my face is fucked up, so that's all he saw. And all I saw of him was, ugh. You know what I'm saying? Like, <laughs> like damn. God, damn. Like, wow, you know what I'm saying? So he uh, walked up, and I could hear him talking to the cops. He was like, okay, so uh, why? What, what's going on here? You know what I'm saying? So they, they tell him, oh, we're arresting him for resisting arrest with violence. And it was like, he was like, okay, so what was you arresting him for? And they looked at him like, we just told you. Like, resisting arrest with violence. Okay, he broke it down okay, to them. Okay, that was 
the charge after that? What was the charge before, before that? that? Yeah. Why were you arresting him to where he resisted arrest? Point exactly. So since they was bullshitting around, because that's a famous... That's what they like to do. Mm-hmm. Well, a lot of people that go to jail they ain't got nothing to stick to hit them with resisting arrest and violence. They really do. And Quick, fast, and hurry. Exactly. Because it's something that you can do your days, 10 days on, and then they'll let you out. You feel me? Yo, I didn't got charged with dismiss because there was no fact in Right. That. Exactly. So he talks to them. For, I, I can hear what's going on, but I can't really hear what's going on. So he, they go and come and they take them, snap off the zip ties. All right, sir, y'all, you free to go. Gave me my ID back. And while he was walking past me, while he was doing that, like, uh, you better hope you don't sue. <laughs> like, for real. So I went to the hospital. Yeah, we. Got, I'm trying to find a lawyer. You see, I need to talk to a lawyer in Texas. They can probably just bar him for real. Mm-hmm. All right. So I, I got to stop talking now because I can't talk about nothing. that. <laughs> like, real talk made you whenever the mic- microphone's off. Right? The rest of it's private. Just know that, though, that the sheriff is actually, uh, he has more more power. Then that's why he's the county sheriff. He has jurisdiction over the police. He has mm-hmm. to make sure the police do their job, and their job is just policy enforcement. That's it. Hmm. That's it. So I learned something new today. Right. So just keep that in mind. You know what I'm saying? You know, it's a lot of a lot of people they they really like equate the sheriff to the um uh to the police because they wear a badge, they wear a uniform. But you notice they have a different badge and they have a different uniform. Exactly, and their cars staying now. Sheriffs need to take their car home. Exactly. And how many times do you see a sheriff <laughs> pulling over people? Never. That ain't they. That ain't what they do. See, uh, uh, driving is a um, is a commercial activity. So if they pull you over it's because somebody them gave them APB out on a certain car. Yeah, either that or if you're actually using your car to harm people. Mm-hmm. Or yeah, if you're no, on just, the highway. Yeah, every like yeah. It, like you say, every law enforcement has their role. Just like state troopers, they only here for eighteen wheelers. Right. Technically, that's all they really supposed Close to be. Pull for. over. But they have a quota now. They they so since they have a quota, they have to expand mm-hmm. their range of who they can pull over now. It's speeding in eighteen wheelers. Right. Exactly. Mm. And. That is, is, man, you'd be amazed how many times I done got pulled over by a cop on, like, this happened to me when I got pulled over and went to jail in Louisiana. Got pulled over by a regular city cop. Mm-hmm. And, uh, uh, Hammond. Hammond City Cop in, uh, Louisiana. And the A, not the A meet, yeah, the A meet deputy, not deputy, the state, uh, the A meet, county police. County police pull up with the state trooper, and I, I can hear them talking in the background, so asking him, well, what, what, what are you doing on the highway? <laughs> like, yeah, right, right? You, know, right? you know you were supposed to stop about a good mile back there. Exactly. Like, Super Troopers, I don't know if you ever seen that movie. Yeah, I seen it. You know, I can't remember they had, they always, that's the whole yeah, movie just, about the beef and the shit, right? Over t- I thought that was just a movie. Yeah, <laughs> nah, that's true. They got to stop in certain encounters. Yeah. They know they're supposed, they supposed to call and get permission right. and ask them. Simple as day. Or, or call it over and they're like, hey, we need you to keep, we see where this person is headed, so mm-hmm. we need you all to be ready for them. You know what I'm saying? Exactly. They, they got, the, they be fighting over territory because it's a quota thing. Hmm. It's, a, it's all a quota thing. Don't, don't let it be a major crime in a, on a, on a, in a like a jurisdiction that cross. Seven <laughs> counties high speed chase. Right. Because it's going to be whoever put them handcuffs on exactly. the suspect. First. And trust <laughs> everybody beating you up. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> I'm telling you, everybody beating you up. That's you know what that reminds me of, though, when I see people, uh, when I see the police having to chase down, uh, uh, especially a black man, mm-hmm. and put him in handcuffs and stuff, and they got it, they got his legs uh, zip tied up, and they got his, uh, uh, they yeah, got pretty much hog tied. It reminds me of those fucking country, uh, the, the rodeos and stuff. Where How they do the bulls. bulls and shit. Because you get them chased down like a wild animal, then right. they got a hog tie real right. quick. Beat you up a little bit. And to get him to submit. And that's... It's amazing that we can't really peep that. That's crazy. Like, you would think that that would be something that is uh, as stringent. It's like uh, blatantly put in your face. And you just mm-hmm. like, oh, you, you had to do something wrong. Nah, a person sometimes don't always do something wrong. Lots of time. People gonna run because of what they know from how law means right. or in the past. You feel me? I see law men, I don't care if, I'm, if I ain't did nothing out of date. I see one, I'm gonna still run because 
Yeah, if you just in the facility and they ain't got nobody to fuck with, they gonna make it. And once yeah, they exactly. run your name and you have any kind of prize, just you can just basically say, go on and put your deuce up and fight. Right. Because they're not finna let you just go in peace. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Point blank period. Just right. like, that's all we ask y'all to do is just to peep that, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, but we're gonna go ahead and play one more song, then, you know what I'm saying? We're gonna come back, chop it up a little bit more, and, you know, we'll take it up from there, you feel me? Already, y'all know what y'all listening to. Listening I to want the world, motherfuckers. New world music. I want all my niggas with this fuck. I want all my niggas with this fuck. I'm tired of being fucked up at all, man. It's all man. I'm tired of this shit. Tell me, my niggas. Oh, she get on the way, bitch. Sassy, sassy, sassy. I'm sassy. I'm swagging, I'm swagging, I'm swagging. I'm swagging. I'm swagging. I'm balling, I'm balling. I'm balling. I'm balling. I'm balling. Stand up on niggas on tell like Tenobi I'm with the winners, I sit in the Nobi Rich on these niggas and shine on these hoes The one that they told me, me feel like the road Pile up my shit, that shit make my shit twinkle Dribble that ball like they breaking their ankle Get rid like amigo, can't fuck with the lingo Went on my islands and fuck with Trevino Got young nigga ready, they ready to reload Get on that spice and be talking that lingo I'm in the scope and they watching like people. Gone on my waist, I'ma pull up like Debo Alma some bitches, they look like Flamingo They shoot through that door, you can't look through that people. I'm ballin', I'm ballin', I've a song on you. I'm ballin', I'm ballin', I've a song on you. I'm ballin', I'm ballin', I've a song on you. They call me Mohegan, they say on the struggle. I ain't the color on jail like my brother. Talk about that pain and I talk about that dope. Talk about I drink, how they go up and smoke. Broke at the fuck and my stomach gon' hurt. My angel can't stand my kid on a nerd. Walk in the line, I'm just trying to stay balanced. Bust up a relo and fill it with medicine. Don't give a fuck about this shit, nigga, tell it. The fuck is you telling me? They play with my feeling, they feel like I'm done. Smoking on spikes till I feel like I'm numb. Get with a freak and see drink of the calm. Open the mouth and I bust on the tongue. Get roaches in here, cause we come from the slum. Be my role model with junkies and bombs. Something with the major doing that song too, you know. It's about uh, man, I was at work, you know. What I'm saying, and, uh, I, like, don't get me wrong, not, not trying to talk bad about uh, my job, you know. What I'm saying, people have a funny way of tr- of trying to make something that ain't really, uh, you know, what I'm saying, good sound like it's good. You know, my my manager came up to me today and said, like, you got second place. And having the most hours this week, <laughs> like that's not a good thing. 
Like, I'm is that I'm post, I'm sorry. Where's my trophy? <laughs> like, <laughs> all right. I'm sorry. I am just. I'm, I, I, I don't get me wrong. I like my job. I like my job. Like you know what I'm saying. I can't really talk about what I do because I really know I have that kind of contract. You know what I'm saying? I really Straight trying up. to sign a contract. It's just like a that. simple fact. Yeah. The boss tried to sugarcoat some bullshit. <laughs> right, <laughs> I ain't trying to. Push. In so many ways, she was trying to tell him, "Look, you get in too many hours, and, and you and you need to stay in your lane." But little does she know that my man don't want all the I goddamn hours. Trying to get hours. that shit like that, you know? man, I can't be no. going in there, opening and leaving after close. I, I, man, that is not my life. You know, I got children. I'm trying to have a family life. You know what I'm saying? I, it, it is best best up too because I'm really trying to slow down on my drinking. Mm-hmm. But after a day like that, you be like, mm-hmm. I need a you got to drink. I need a pill. And when maybe you have a week like that, where every day is like that, you're yeah. just alcoholic. Yeah. <laughs> Trust me. I'm taking a break tonight because goddamn it, I need to get my liver some kind of water. You know, some exactly. kind of nutrients. Clean, clean, clean it out. You know what I'm saying? But, but white people, I do need y'all to understand something. You know. That's not making us feel any better. Nah, when you I'm, try to bullshit a bullshit. Exactly. I'm sorry. It's not helping us. You know, because all I'm doing is looking at you like, man, you want me to quit? Thank you. Dude. <laughs> shut the fuck up and let me right. work. <laughs> That's all you got to do, man. Just shut the fuck up and let me work. Don't try to sugarcoat nothing because I'm going to read between the lines. Exactly. And you better hope it's not one of them pissed off days when I just gone and right. rip your new ass off right. real quick. But I'm still keep my job because you ain't gonna have no trust but to exactly. keep that hoe. Exactly. You know, I'm just gonna like don't bullshit me. Exactly. Like, you ain't, don't don't sit there and try to make me feel good about myself. Right. Because you're not doing me a favor. No. You, no. Not and, by a long shot. And see, this is the weird part about we're in the in the industry. I work in the service industry. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? And in the service industry, you know, you have to deal with customers. What you do? And with people who have the by position, you know, what I said in the service industry, they get they deal with the same amount of customers, the same kind of customers as me. They don't, they, they, their problems stem from the customers. You know what I'm saying? Because, yeah, they, for the most part, you know how the place run. You know what I'm saying? But the customer don't. So, of course, they're going to be, like, it's going to be confusing and it's going to be hard, whatever, because they don't know how the place run. They're just trying to figure things out, whatever, whatever. Anyways, mine don't come from the customers. Mm-hmm. Like, I, I love all my customers. I, Thank you. I have hardly had a, 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 a my customer. Love me. That, yeah, exactly. I, I get along with my customer. I talk to them, and we have conversation. You and know then you sometimes have one that you are regular, right? You know what exactly. I'm saying. And, and that's because you get to know that person, and I, I see a lot. A lot of people really don't do that. A lot of people don't do that in the industry. I went out to eat one night, and I had the server, and hardly, hardly. No, I'm I'm good, just chilling by myself. I just trying to get some bonus wings. And, mm-hmm. You know, I had a couple of beers in my stomach. You know what I'm saying? And I'm just chilling. I ain't really. She, I ain't begging you to stop me to, to talk to me, but you didn't really take that effort to you know? check up on me. Oh, I hate shit. Like, and then you expect me to tip you, right? You know. Uh, now, don't get me wrong. That's the tip. I still tip. Yeah, I tip but them. Maybe you don't get a better dollar. service. Yeah, you don't get. A I give them a dollar because just... I know you still hard, but I'm right. saying don't. If, if somebody else then made your day rough, right? Don't do it because don't the next person may just put a smile on your it face. Exactly. You know what I'm saying? It I didn't have something coming in, but I'm thinking I'm pissed off, but I'm just blue cool blunted. Right. You know what I'm saying? Right. And I'm in that mood where don't talk to me, let me enjoy my high. They didn't made me laugh. You exactly. know what I'm saying? Like I, I, I remember that day, that night so vividly, man, because I asked for a war. Mm. Because I needed to hydrate myself before I start drinking Drink beer. Exactly. And that's so why I asked for water. Then I need a water first. And then after that, I just need a Bud Light. And then I need some bonus wings. You know what I'm saying? If you can give me that water first, I'll be happy. You know what I'm saying? Now we got more water. We got the beer. <laughs> I guess I got to pay for the beer. So yeah. let, me, let me solidify this. If you just get this water and walk out, I'm going to be mad. Mm. Like, oh, hey, that's how it's going to be. <laughs> They're supposed to give you water first, though. They're supposed to give you water first. I'm yeah. still real. I learned that in my days of busting that Olive Garden, you know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Like, yeah, did you get them to, something to drink first because they need to hydrate themselves to get ready and get their stomachs ready. You know what I'm saying? Because you're not really supposed to eat on a dry stomach. A lot of people don't know that. Okay, we're going to change something right there. We're going to make it medical, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> a lot of people don't know these things. Just like, have you ever seen Lie Liar? Hmm? Lie Liar with Jim Carrey. 
Yes. Okay, remember he was in the courtroom and he had to come up with an excuse to leave and he came up with that, I gotta use the bathroom. Yep. And he said if he holds it for too long, it cause it may cause erectile dysfunction. Mm -hmm. And he was able to say it so it wasn't a lie. Right. A lot of people didn't know, yeah, if you hold your piss for so long, yeah, you can cause yourself to have erectile dysfunction later on in age. Yep. But the what I was figuring that was uh was was pretty much oh shit, don't do that. What were we talking about? Don't do that. It's, it's, it left me. It left me. It's the dad. It left me. No, it was about my liver. Nope, nope. It was the dad. Was it the dad? Oh, man. Ladies and gentlemen, the dad that took over our mind. <laughs> oh, <laughs> man, it's, it's, it's right here. It's right there. Oh, my I, noggin, but it just won't it, come down. But it is, but like, there's some certain facts out there that people don't know. You know what I'm saying? And we were just talking about right before. Go. Yeah, okay, that's what it was. Yeah, uh, yeah we have to, you're not supposed to eat on a dry stomach. You're mm -hmm. really supposed to have some liquid on your stomach to help it be able to digest your stomach better. That's like a lot of people get gas, you know what I'm saying? Right. And you're really not supposed to drink a lot of sodas. Mm -mm. Now, I learned that, again, as a, as a buster, you know what I'm saying? And I learned that from a cousin. Because um, the same thing happened to him. Matter of fact, he got his drink first before he got his water. And he had to explain to the server. Right there in front of me, you know what I'm saying? Like, you, know, you always want to bring them something to drink first. That way they can put something to drink on their stomach. You know what I'm saying? This alcohol right. is going to get into my blood faster because I don't have enough to get my stomach. It do. And you feel me? So, I was like, okay. Well, I knew the alcohol getting in your blood fat. But I didn't know you had to have something wet on your stomach. So, but, yeah, apparently that's how gas is. Like, Build up. people get gas. Yeah. That's why you're supposed to drink really a soda before you eat. Exactly. Uh, and that's back in the day. I noticed... My grandpa, every time we would eat dinner, breakfast, or whatever, my grandma would always give him a cup of water and whatever side he wanted, whether it was yeah. juice or soda. Exactly. But he was always served with a cup of ice water. water. <laughs> That's crazy. Water sounds real good. When I think about the dad, boy, that shit still get you cotton now. It does. <laughs> <laughs> Well, yeah, man, that's so that's always, if you don't know that, now you know, so don't ever start eating, you know what I'm saying, uh, uh, I know you're hungry, I know you're hungry, but don't ever just start eating, you know what I'm mm -hmm. saying, you get you some water, and then you And water's good for you. Exactly. It's gonna body's help. what, yeah. 70% water? Exactly, you gotta replenish it, because right now, I'm, I'm down to like 58% water, covered with another 12% beer, mm -hmm. liquor, and, uh, you know, spirits. Yeah. <laughs> shit. So and yeah, I actually feel that shit in my head. I feel that shit. When I don't drink, like tonight, I feel that shit. Like that's why I gotta be out. So I gotta be out. I'm, I'm, I was calling me. I was like, I'm gonna go to the store right after the show. <laughs> and I realized it's after twelve. Thank yeah, you, yeah. Texas. Good boy, Florida and one, Clearwater. One, two, no, three, three, three. And that only reason they close at three is because they gotta count up the sales from the previous day so that they can reopen again at six. Hmm. Oh, I'm saying, shit, you better be look at it all the time tonight. Man. If I go buy a, a big ass 24 case, I can drink that bitch all throughout the night that so real. I can go and buy that bitch all throughout, all throughout the, night. the night. That's real. Man, you don't understand, man, them days when I used to party, party, man, and I used to, like, <laughs> let's just say this. I seen a meme on Facebook, and I'm gonna get back to the store. Uh, I seen a meme on fa oh, Instagram that said, uh, when she pulls out a bag of weed, and I mean, when she pulls out a bag of coke instead of a bag of weed, oh, bitch, you do drug drugs. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? <laughs> yeah. But anyways, go back to the story I was going to say. Hey, when them days I used to party, you know what I'm saying? And uh, I would stay up all night. Mm -hmm. I would have fucking, uh, we have to get an 18 case or a 24 case. And sometimes that shit would be gone by 2, 3 in the morning. And we pushing. Mm -hmm. We push, we trying to last until fucking eight. You know what I'm saying? But we make it to eight. <laughs> Just to run back to the goddamn store. Queen of fast. And no, uh, that's that, that's a bad habit that, you know, that we picked up. Yeah, I'm glad the party day is over with. So mm -hmm. I gotta get I'm not leaving the alcohol is the last thing, I'm leaving that alone. So I suggest if you got an addiction out there. Uh, don't be ashamed of it. Own it so that you can take control of it. That way you can go ahead and kick it. That's the best way to do it. That's real. Don't First step, there's always a set in the fact. Right? Never deny it. Yeah. Hey, when you accept it, it makes it a whole lot easier. Exactly. Trust me. Exactly. 
Cause then you then you gonna fuck you wanna face it. Mm-hmm. And then you face it like you, you know, yeah. instead of letting it hit you. Yeah, okay. I used to drink it all the time. But yeah, I just really prefer my choice of herb. I, I smoke. Yep, I admit I'm a weed yeah, head. You know what I'm saying? I Amen. face my fears, but they overcome me. Amen. But I take that loss for that. <laughs> <laughs> Cause I, hey, real. I ain't never. I'm just saying, like, everybody should just smoke weed. Right. We'd be at a better place. To put all the guns away. Let's yeah, just put all the weed in a big pile somewhere. Like that bitch, and let the whole world just get high. Yeah, high. That's real. Cause the thing about it, man, you be in the middle of arguing with somebody, and then you be like, man, you know, man, fuck you, nigga, man, this gonna be some fuck shit. I'll fuck you up right now. Yeah. Hit this shit, man. Hell. You man, cool. All right, tell now, you, gonna, you gonna understand when I tell you. I don't really, know, man. I'm good. We, what, what's going on with us, man? What, what happened? What we like? What? What did that? Did I offend you? <laughs> oh, man. For real, it don't bring the pussy out of you, but it does. It brings the fucking common sense to you. Know you know what I'm saying? It, it, it makes you think about well, what the fuck you was, what the fuck was, what the fuck was going on. Right? Thank you. Yeah, mm-hmm. Ain't like alcohol that make you want to go fight nobody or nothing like that. Real talk. I mean, you might want to fight over the last piece, the slice of piece or some day. shit. You know, because yeah. you might get the munchie. That's right. why you go to the store and, and you get the food first. But me, I eat. Mm-hmm. Before I smoke, yeah, you so know. that way I be. You know, I, everybody you know, I got another solution to that that works for me personally. I get a pineapple pizza. Okay, that's just and it, that do be good most from people, time to most time. People think it's disgusting. No, anytime. My little girl, she, 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 you know, she ordered it and I tried it one time. It was. It got like a unique taste yeah. to it, you know, the yeah. pineapple. You bite into it, and you're like, what the yeah. hell? I, I love <laughs> that shit. I ain't gonna lie, boy. I love that shit. But yeah. most places only sell it with ham. Mm-hmm. Like, if, if you just want a pineapple pizza, then it's like a little bit more. Yeah. Like, well, I just want you to take the ham off. Yeah. Or, excuse me, don't put the ham Come on. on. <laughs> like, I'm paying you not to put the ham on. pre made. <laughs> yeah, I think that's what it is. It gotta be. It gotta be. Man, I oh, should have to order it just like this. Because well, when I order sometime from Domino's, I can order me my own crafted Philly cheese steak. Right. Because they don't sell it on the pizza, but they have steak meat. And you got everything. And you get the cheese and you get yeah. the peppers. And you know, you get the thin crust. <laughs> ah, bye, bye, bye. So is that a white a white pizza? Like, do they use red sauce or do they use white sauce? White. That's a white pizza. Ooh, mm-hmm. that's Alfredo. Yes. Yeah. Yes, like that's not good. Yes, like <laughs> man, my my homie put me on to it. He like, cause he got I'm like man, that guy get the cheese steak in. Right. That's how I love yeah. feeling cheese steak. He like, yeah, it's in that box. And I was like, what? Don't know. Said that he like, no, you gotta make it. Yeah. And man, it's on that thin, the real thin, like that thin bread crush. Yeah. And the steak, and then you got the cheese, and then he had the bell peppers and the radish on it. Oh my god! Damn, boy, that bitch was good before uh, I even heat it up in the microwave. That real? <laughs> <laughs> oh man! Oh man! That was, that's what's up right now, man. <laughs> real like? Oh man! But that. Did. All right, man, but yeah, it's coming to the end of the hour of New Music Monday. So what we're going to do is, I, since we I ain't really play that much music, we're going to end this off by playing, you know what I'm saying, a few songs, you know. Let y'all jam out to some great local art, not local artists, I, I take that back. These are artists from all over hmm. the country, you know what I'm saying, if not all, if all from Africa or Jamaica or uh, not if we, you listen listening to the radio. So y'all make sure y'all tune in and, and show y'all some, show some love to to, to these cats because these cats put in this is the underground the foundation you know they put up they hard working they, they, real they, blood sweat yeah, too they ain't trying to make a rhyme to rhyme so that they can get you know what I'm saying paid for their 16 bars they trying to make a, these fucking 16 this is bars this poetry bottom. it is biz exactly and speaking of that I'm still looking for them spoken word poets out there so if you definitely want to get your spoken word poetry heard go ahead and send it to us the more of it we get we will make a show for it you know I got a perfect host for it. She just needs to help. She, we, we go ahead and send it to her. Southside submissions at gmail.com. If you know us, poor, tell them. Send in their uh, submissions at southside submissions at gmail.com. 
And you if you're trying to get your music on, New Music Monday, you're trying to get it reviewed, you're trying to get it interviewed, you can also get in touch with us at SouthsideSubmissions at gmail.com. Or you can go ahead and just join our mailing list at uh, sbcmovement.com. Follow us at Southside Bosses, uh, Southside Boss Connection on Facebook. And you also can join our group, Southside Bosses, on Facebook. You can also follow us Instagram and Twitter at Southside Bosses. Make sure y'all go ahead and show some support, show some love. Because you already know this is Boss. B O S S Southside Boss. Charge it to the game, charge it to the game. Tell me, nigga, we finesse and we don't go with lanes. Charge it to the game, charge it to the game. Tell me, nigga, we finesse and we don't go with lanes. Charge it to the game, charge it to the game. Tell me, nigga, we finesse and we don't go with lanes. Charge it to the game, charge it to the game. For the police, I'ma tell you like an OG told me. Better realize what the real G call me. But you better understand, in the trap like a hundred bands. And it's not just one man, got some white dough. And some dough that's ten. Got loud too like a man, did that crime, did that time. Got out of jail with the money on my mind. It come with the trap and you can't prep a wine. I'ma get the last laugh for the motherfucking clients. Get call country, tension, callous. Short the plus in the end, wrapped up in plastic. Get it on soon as it's set like magic. Gotta get rich, this is life of a savage. This is life of a savage. Life of a savage, nigga, bro. This shit. This shit, like, we do this shit every day, bro. We just put that shit inside yeah, they yeah, care, bro. They want it back, bro. We ain't gonna give it back, bro. I'm all about a sack, bro. You feel me? I'm oh, sorry, I had to do it like that, nigga. Charge to the game, nigga. Charge it to the game. Charge it to the game. Tell me, nigga, we put that and we don't go with lanes. Charge it to the game. Charge it to the game. Tell me, nigga, we put that and we don't go with lanes. Charge it to the game. Nigga, quit finesse. Put four on the six yeah. and have his ass looking sick. Huh. You want your money back? What? But you ain't getting shit. Nah. I got them young niggas with me posted up the sticks. Boy, this a water world. Yeah. I'm fire with the wrist. Woo. Before he made it home, the dope don't melt it quick. Damn. Money over fame. What? And G's before a bitch. bitch. She good for two purpose. The suck and suck a dick. Yeah. Charge it to the game. Everything that derives from this is going to be all my fault. Yeah. I'm coming back yeah. because, ooh, ooh, yeah. you know, and I know shit. You know, like, uh, where does the Deep buck stop? Who do you think I am? Big buck pot, I said, 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 I said
and dip to raise L's and fucking with this shit right here ain't gonna lay well You take L's, I got rappers in my death sights If I get me another, I'd be out on the next flight I wreck mics and run shit like red lights We raised dough and cut that shit with the bread knife and step right This how champs get down with them beats and them blows that be stamping out clowns We them big dogs that keep banging out sounds We drop just forever, we demanded that Royal, a whack shit makes my blood boil. The fact is, the crap whips we are both loyal. It's how we move when this shit your life. And me and Big Bob Pats are always on the side. How we doing? Vocals are squeeze clacks, put the work to the Word out. Representing truth. Bust, bust, bust these dudes. Ah, shit, good. Fuck what you heard. For this ain't no Gabriel shit, yo, but dreams come true So never quit chasing your dreams like most of these dudes do I do me, so do you, but stay off the fuck shit I hold the microphone and take aim and bust clips Fuck this, I'm going to war with them fakers So we stand tall in the hall of greatness I walk with creators and talk with makers And cover all flavours, then fuck the traitors We don't talk to Popo, we bring the noise And fuck the down low, because we bring the boys And straight murder motherfuckers who we think is toy We on that street shit, and it's no secret voice, I peep it by This the real revival Music for the soul, I call street survival It flows deep inside and runs through my bloodstream That's why I'm spitting heat like motherfucking zombies How we doing? Vocals are squeezed clacks Put the word out Representing truth Bust these dudes I just fucking beat you to death for him Ah, shit, good Fuck what you heard well, it's the method hitters, and I ain't talking about a right hook. I'll beat rappers to death with my motherfucking rhyme, but time's up. All this nonsense got your mind talking from the time when rappers rhymes you to light the night up. Smoking up, but these jokers know you need to watch some real life kids blow the spot. Word, bar for bar, I'll fucking blow the lot because I'll run up on your whole crew and blow the tops. What, what, we're going back to that street shit and pop shots And in these features with deepness So peep this uniqueness to expose your weakness With completeness and leave motherfuckers speechless You know I need this salute to the gods For supplying me the beats To shoot down the frauds and no oh lord We bring fire to the boards Cause hell and heaven comes from the same source How, 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 how we Vocals are squeezed the lights Don't put the word out Representing truth Bust, bust these jewels Ah, shit, good Fuck what you heard Coming for war It's a consciousness that lives in your mind What do you want to call me a murderer for? I've never killed anyone I don't need to kill anyone I think it in the spiritual world is where I live. I exist in places you never even dreamed of. When I stand on the mountain and I say, do it, it gets done. If it don't get done, then I'll move on it. And that's the last thing in the world you want me to do. I'm a boxcar and a jug of wine. And a straight razor. If you get too close to me, my children are coming. I told you 20 years ago. Nobody Oh, sweeter than cherry pie, yeah Mystic eyes, skin tone flawless Body hotter than the middle of August All night, I just wanna kiss you I give you the world, only if you Take me as I am I promise I'll love you every way that I can I swear I need you next to me Oh, oh I said I need you next to me Love ecstasy, love ecstasy, oh ecstasy, oh ecstasy, love ecstasy, love ecstasy, love ecstasy. 
Way too late for that. Ain't no way they getting back. I can't hear the garbage you talking. Remember saying that? On me, it's too late for that. Tell them stay away, in fact. Bringing all that negative on me, they know I'm getting that. Too bad, it's way too late for that. Ain't no way they getting back. I can't hear the garbage you talking. Remember saying that? On me, it's too late for that. Tell them stay away, in fact. Bringing all that negative on me, they know I'm getting that. I stay persistent with the mission. I've been climbing up the ladder. I can make it rain, homie, on my enemies if I have to. Been in corners, ride a mileage with no passenger aside. Gotta keep it solo when it comes to making dolo bark to nine. It's a damn shame. Hustling, not knowing who they side. I keep my back against the wall. Hating haters with them sights. It's a cold world, seeing how the team will flip it quick. And they don't wanna see you living, cheesing, wild and taking flicks. Rather see you living bummy with no bacon, looking hungry, but they smiling in your face cause they can hear you when you buzz. Showing up with random women I be claiming that they cousins I ain't falling for it, homie, I ain't stupid They said they want to drink what? They said they want to smoke uh-huh. They said they got some women to meet us up at the mall They said they want to drink uh-huh. They said they want to smoke what? They said they got some women to meet us up at the mall I bet you bad, it's way too late for that Ain't no way they getting back I can't hear the garbage you talking Remember saying that On me, it's too late for that Tell them stay away, in fact Bringing all that negative on me They know I'm getting that too bad it's way too late for that Ain't no way they getting back I can't hear the garbage you talking Remember saying that On me it's too late for that Tell them stay yeah. away your fact Bringing all that negative uh. on me They know I'm getting that Man, you cannot believe that people are loathing and hoping you're taking a seat. Not waiting for nothing, I gotta make something or someone will take it and make it their peace. You wanna succeed, you better not ever let up on the music. You better be killing the beat, becoming the beast. And never let anyone try to tap into your vision, cause then I'll be twisting the message, deluding the lesson, and trying to relinquish your lead. I'm one of the dopest, you bet that I wrote this. Nobody be ghosting, I'm one of the chosen, man. Even if they don't sell me, I'm balling, fam. I ain't foolish, bitch, I'm on focus. Don't give a damn if you bump this. So your lady does it, she lushes. Plus, I got fans who be rolling with me. Half easy, they flowing easy. Sign yourself, you knew it was breezy. Catch me outside if you trip. Briefly, don't be surprised if I don't 
I'll meet you there. I forget sometimes when I really care. The point is, is they scan this man, so watch your back. Cause they, they said they want to drink. What? They said they want to smoke. Uh-huh. They said they got some women to meet us up at the mo. They said they want to drink. Uh-huh. They said they want to smoke. What? They said they got some women to meet us up at the mo. I bet you bad. It's way too late for that. Ain't no way they getting back. I can't hear the garbage you talking. Remember saying that? On me, it's too late for that. Tell them stay away, in fact. Bringing all that negative on me. They know I'm getting that. Too bad. You talking, remember saying that On me it's too late for that Tell them stay away in fact Bringing all that negative on me They know I'm getting that They said they wanna drink They said they wanna smoke They said they got some women to meet us up at the mo They said they wanna drink They said they wanna smoke They said they got some women to meet us up at the mo I bet you bad it's way too late for that Ain't no way they getting back I can't hear the garbage you talking Remember saying that On me it's too late for that Tell them stay away in fact Bringing all that negative on me, they know I'm getting that too bad. It's way too late for that. Hey, yo, D Lo. I got something to say, nigga. Fuck the police, no justice, no peace. Nah. Pull a piece, hit a nigga from beneath. I'm like, fuck the police, no justice, no peace. Now, nah. quick to pull a piece, hit a nigga from beneath. I'm like, rolling down the street, screaming, fuck 12. Catch a slide, switch a full of bears. Yeah. Fuck the money, I ain't getting man. Nah. I'm on my money long like Tyler Perry. 
I'm in the thumb and I need a hand. Pocket got a nigga leader, man. Break up and run up a check. I said it's serving and feeding, man. Pine for a gorilla living there. Spin a check and I'ma get it back. Flip one and flip another one. Get a stack and get another stack. Two onions in a quarter pot, make a whole circle. Straight drops. Pot hot shit jumping out. I ain't trying to lose a nigga. Turn it down. Street life I live in. Shit, I gotta feed my children. Wake up and run up a check. Check. Fuck it. I need a million. Wake up and run up a check. I be on edge and shit. Say what? I be on edge and shit. Yeah. You niggas be talking, but really ain't walking, cause you know I'm quick to scratch your bitch. Scratch your Moving the blocks on my Ted to shit. Uh-huh. Ain't have no hands out, so I've been some shit. Yeah. Been in the Get mall, it. seven days straight it. right there. Get that be that black shit. I remember days smoking 50 bad nine, niggas smoking straight out of the pound. Hit a lid for five bangs, hell nothing, whole man, I broke a shit down. Shit down. I'm a hustler, more proper, ain't the only reason that I'm risking my life. My life. Get money, ain't that the only way that you can't really live life? Fuck with me, everything gotta have us on smell. Smell not the Taking the air. I don't give a fuck who really is. Plenty young and plenty drummer to tell. Middle finger, cause I don't really care. If you feel the play, you know what it is. Better chill if you buy me for real. Cause I swear to God, I die by my bills. Wake up and run up a check. Wake up and run up a check. I'ma go run up a check. I'ma go run up a check. I'ma run up me a check. I'ma run up me a check. I'ma run up me a check. Wake up and run up a check. Wake up and run up a check. Wake up and run up a check. I'ma run up me a check. I'ma run up me a check. I'ma run up me a check. Them hundreds and hundreds, I spoil my butter. Stack twenties and fifties and run it all. You got money, but you still a pussy. It come to the city, nigga, you ain't running none. Don't mock a bitch, that's a one and done. Wacky when Jays and some Louis Vuitton. Two pieces of cookie to dine in the mall. Two twenty a zip if you want. Nigga hating, bitch, don't treat him like the man. I said, fuck him, keep doing my money, fam. Twenty hundreds, I just flew on robbers, man. I ain't pop a rubber band. Better lay like money, can't run the things. Yeah. Free band a bitch if we feel they lame. Yeah. The black hole, the third, the soda, the four, the stick hole, the honey, keep playing games. Uh. I'ma hit me a liquor, go flip me some shit. Jump with them rice to be piling. Drop them rice in my mouth, the four made a shine. Every time that I be smiling. Say fuck a nigga in his click, you know. Bitch, you honey, what I'm hiding. My youngest begging for a body. They ask your mama, she wanna party. Grand, look, 24 cell light shop say. Yeah. Young for me, you don't pull a boy, it ain't safe. Uh. We getting better lane specials all day. Uh. World star nigga, boy, we ain't playing. Nah. We the stack star stun nigga, gon' hate it. Nah. I want the Bentley Hollywood, nah. want the most safe. Nah. Slick, want nah. the beam of gas, want the Addy Bay. Wake up and run up a check. Wake up and run up a check. I'ma go run up a check. I'ma go run up a check. I'ma run up me a check. I'ma run up me a check. I'ma run up me a check. Wake up and run up a check. Wake up and run up a check. Ask me about my work, you wanna know just what it's in for Bitch, I got that back and yo, I hustle with my Migo Talking to the popo, nigga, that's a no-no Perkies and the mileage, yeah, we get it for the low low me about my work, you wanna know just what it's in for? Bitch, I got that pack and yo, I hustle with my Migo. Talking to the popo, nigga, that's a no no. Perkies and the mileage, yeah, we get it for the low low. Everybody coming for the great one, yeah. Just know the goat still on one, so don't be acting like you the only one with a gun. Cause I know Migos who would do it for me just for the fun. My uncle blessed me with them scripts, I was the dude on the low, yeah. I boss my life up, they went to calling me CEO. Switch my bitch up, they went to hating a whole lot more. Went and told a popo like motherfuck the G code. Guess he ain't a G wo. Now they throwing low blows. These niggas so homo. I just want the bankroll. Lick M 
smoke good, sip slow, without all the promo, but you know how the game go, I guess that's the game, bro. Ask me my work, you wanna know just what it's in for, bitch, I got that pack in yo, I hustle with my Migo, talking to the popo, nigga, that's a no-no, perkies and the mileage, yeah, we get it for the low, low. Ask me about my work, you wanna know just what it's in for, bitch, I got that pack in yo, I hustle with my Migo, talking to the popo, nigga, that's a no-no, perkies and the mileage, yeah, we get it for the low, low. I'm in the corner like Batman Jones, just me solo. I'm so far in my zone, throwing my rello. In the seat, chasing that bit of taste. Staying on my waist, fuck up your face if you fuck up my pace. So pray your count right. Better yet, pray my count right, cause I don't count twice. Don't went too many nights without lights, so fuck right. Yeah, I know I'm dead wrong, but my aim dead tight. It's bare chested, no pads, bare faced, it, no mask. Them brick boys going ape on they monkey ass. Third world nigga, no, we gon' spaz. Tell them niggas hard up for them dick niggas. We bought them figures, nigga. Ask me about my work, you wanna know just what it's in for. Bitch, I got that pack in yo, I hustle with my Migo. Talking to the popo, nigga, that's a no no. Perkies and the mileage, yeah, we get it for the low low. Ask me about my work, you wanna know just what it's in for. Bitch, I got that pack in yo, I hustle with my Migo. Talking to the popo, nigga, that's a no no. Perkies and the mileage, yeah, we get it for the low low. Alone, live out with business and mind your own. The 
Cross where Rocks there no live in that them tenement yard Watch it, watch it Too much chatty, chatty That's where Rocks there no live in that no tenement yard Too much watch it, watch it And chatty, chatty Them spread news like newspaper I move like social media Instagram, Facebook and Twitter What's up with them people, yeah? Haters are everywhere Everywhere them there Where something good is taking place They tell you It burns them to see us rise That's why they're on our case I am telling you They wanna come to me With lying lips and fantasy We always them them their atrocities With love and with quality
you never want to see a ghetto eat a fly up, fly high like an eagle. Through me humble, and me never want to cause nobody trouble. Down on me, say me crumble. Man, I leave a soldier, and me now go sober. Me no bow to no blood class evil. Me not smile with none of them people. Dirty bad mind, ungrateful people. Can't stop me, man, unstoppable. Can't see me now, yo, man, I'm invisible. Can't beat me, man, unbeatable. Undisputed, yes, man, a champion. Babylon won't test me fate. Babylon can't test me fate. Me got me ice on the price, life cool like ice, so me pre paradise, yeah. Babylon won't test me fate. Babylon can't test me fate, no. Me got me ice on the price, life cool like ice, so me pre paradise, yeah. Why me gonna people rise up against me? Them a fight them, them a sabotage me. Me na know why some a pre me. Them can never kill I am and dream. Me na ain't a want no separation. Peace when me preach in a mediation. James stop me from, James stop me from. Blood nation, peace and meditation. Me na ain't a want no separation. Peace when me preach in a mediation. James stop me from, James stop me from. Blood nation, peace and meditation. Some a who no never want to see a ghetto eat a fly up. Fly high like an eagle, through me humble and me never want to cause nobody trouble. Down on me, say me crumble. Man, I leave a soldier and me now go sober. Me no bow to no blood that evil. Me not smile with none of them people. Dirty bad mind, ungrateful people. Can't stop me, man, unstoppable. Can't see me now, yo, man, I'm invisible. Can't beat me, man, unbeatable. Undisputed, yes, man, I champion. Babylon won't test me face. Babylon can't test me face. Me got me ice on the price, life cool like ice, so me pre paradise, yeah. Babylon won't test me fate. Babylon can't test me fate, no. Me got me ice on the price, life cool like ice, so me pre paradise, yeah. Why me gonna people rise up against me? Them a fight them, them a sabotage me. Me na know why some a pre me. Them can never kill I am and dream. Me na ain't a want no separation. Peace when me preach in a mediation. James stop me from, James stop me from. Blood nation, peace and meditation. Me na ain't a want no separation. Peace when me preach in a mediation. James stop me from, James stop me from. Blood nation, peace and meditation. On the gram, she ain't got no plans. No. I'm like, baby, I'm the man, gonna do your dance. Real. Do it for the vine, better yeah, for the gram. She says she got a man, baby, I don't give a damn. Hey. I just wanna hey. get up in hey. the pinch, hey. see? Spread hey. the motherfucking hey. legs like hey. the gym, you hey. see? Yeah. Ain't no cuffing over here, we ain't no damn police. No. I just want the fucking cheese like Uncle Sam, you see? Yeah. I'm just trying to get the grip. Yeah. Ain't worried about a bitch, yeah. catch me on some money shit. Yeah. Niggas talking, get hit like a hit stick, nigga. I be on the fucking book, watch your girl, nigga, cause that bitch might get took. Nah, I ain't. I ain't playing, got my niggas, we on that, we hungry for that motherfucking money. This shit is like a drug, so be careful if you got that computer love. We got that computer love. Oh, is that a notification? We got that computer love. Oh, I just got a message. Hit me up on Facebook, on Twitter, and Instagram. Oh, is that a notification? Come get it. I just got a message. You be do up, put you up away. Should be do up, put you up. You know, should be do up, put you up away. Yeah, yeah. Should be do up, put you up. You know, Instagram, Facebook, and Twitter. Whenever you want it, come get it. Guarantee it, get it this deep. She loves me, I wanna know, did you love? I'm checking on my phone tonight. 
to see if she hit me up with a text Come over baby, come give me some great sex That's that computer look baby You wanna know you can love baby It's tonight, one of those nights Cause baby by the end, you gon' know that body right I show it love, your body's appreciated Tonight we gon' get very naked Show you some things you never seen I got that computer love baby You know me, I do it Tonight is the truth Baby, I know you're true Tonight I'm trying to Netflix and chill We, we got, got that, that computer, computer love, love. Oh, That's that notification We got that computer love oh, oh, I just got a message Hit me up on Facebook Twitter Is that a notification? Oh, man you want it, come get it Guaranteed to give you this dick I just got a message My phone just lit up, it's a Snapchat Hit the icon real quick, I gotta check that Light skin, fat ass with the snapback Pretty face, lovely shape, well let me bless that Do the same for me, come do some freaky things Achieve top of the mountain, give me the night You gon' reach your peak, I love your physique You in love with my technique, don't resist it Just get with it, go ahead and be a freak I got one of them tumbling bitches She caught me slipping, reel me in with provocative pictures I commented, she reacted by giving me mentions So I said, let's kick it, I got the tree and the liquor Bet that up, cause it's a fact Don't make me fall back If I'm coming and I'm strapped, I want you sitting on my lap I mean, you know how it's all gonna end I'm out here on that new age, computer love shit We got that computer love oh, Is that oh, a got that computer We got that computer love, love. I got that computer love. Is that a notification? We got that computer love. I just got a message. Hit me up on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. Is that a notification? Oh, baby, you want it? Come get it. Guaranteed to give you this dick. I just got a message. Got that computer love. Got that computer love You want it Come get it Got that computer love Computer love
sit back and I think about All the times that you made me laugh, oh no Can't help but reminisce Everything that we ever did, oh no I wanna love you but Can't really tell you but If you love me, 
won't you say something? If you love me, won't you love me, won't you love me, won't you? If you love me, won't you say something? If you love me, won't you love me, won't you? If you love me, won't you say something? If you love me, won't you love me, won't you love me, won't you? If you love me, won't you say something? If you love me, won't you love me, won't you? If you love me, won't you say something? If you love me, won't you love me?